And in those that know me, uh, God's put a passion inside me to see the fatherless youth of our nation come back to or come to him and know him as their heavenly father. And part of that, I believe that God is, wants to open up doors with media, Amen. like with yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I had that same fear. I've got, <laughs> I didn't like the way I looked on camera. I didn't like, I didn't like my voice. Like, oh, yes, my gosh. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so you said, I'm speaking to somebody, and there might have been others that was for, but it hit me. It was for me. <laughs> And then I don't know if it was at the same time. I think it was later on when we were worshiping. The Father just said to me so clearly in my spirit, you're my son. Amen. I'm well pleased with you. And it, it's taken me to a whole other level of knowing that sonship. <laughs> and everything that you're saying about forgiveness, yeah. he taught me that a while ago. You've got to choose to forgive. You've got to yield your will to God. It's exactly what you're putting in your book. That I, I got a short story, if I could tell it. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I, I, love stories. I was working in Upper Michigan. I'd moved up there to help a church plant up there. And I didn't have any job going up there. So I, the second job that I got was in sales. So here, God's taken me from an introvert to an extrovert with sales. So he's putting me through like a boot camp. And the job that I got, I was working for a Christian radio station, and we would have meetings every morning, sales, you know, pep talks and everything, go out and, you know, just really <laughs> sort of the heck out <laughs> Sell, sell, sell. Yeah. And one of those times, the owner of the station with the sales manager, and they would get in our face, they'd really get at us and stuff like that. But this time, it was to the form, it was abusive. Mm. And I don't like using this word hate, but there was a hatred mm -hmm. that was developed on the inside of me with, with these men. Mm -hmm. And we had a saying after we'd get done with our sales meeting, we'd say, okay, go out and sell the radio station. Well, I didn't feel like selling it. I felt like burning it down. <laughs> Christian arsonist isn't too good to be putting on a resume. <laughs> so... Then it was a war that, that started within me because mm. I knew I, had, I couldn't hold that. Mm. But the thought was in my head, I hate those men. And then eventually, you know, I know Proverbs 18, 21, life and death is in the power of the tongue. If you speak that out, it's, it's set in motion. So it, it finally came out of my mouth, I hate those men. Mm. And it was such a war that went on inside me with this flesh and the spirit trying to the, each side trying to win its way. And finally, I think within, I don't know what the time period was, it was a couple of days that we had a church service and I just said, okay, Lord, I can't do this, but I will for it. And I went up and answered, or I had the pastor pray over me and I was completely set free right there. Mm -hmm. It's all about willing, choosing to forgive. Choosing to forgive. Amen. Amen. Come on, give him. Lord, I'm going to thank you so, so much, man of God. I not only really enjoy your story and your fellowship. Love you, man. We'll see each other again. I know we will.